the Marichal Fock listed chase is next. A two more six furlong listed race. One of those intermediate distances which could throw up some interesting results with a two and a half miles and a three miles clashing. It's the fault line for Joshua Sutherland. Folk etymology, Leon van Rensburg, El Centro Air, Vinnie Gerard, Monty Land, John Morgan, October Bay, Graham Clutterbuck, She's Flying, David Hooley, Damani Steele for Darren Thompson, Guard Francais for Leon van Rensburg, Lord Carew, Padre Hogan, Nida Tonic, Craig Beckwith, Quest of Cut, Martin Liram, Rippling Road, John Morgan, Arden Tangle, Sydney for Derek Hinton, Ocean of Lecker, Darren Thompson, and Pot of Cash, Craig Beckwith, they're away and racing in what could be an interesting event. First fence is a Grand National Star Water Jump, which obviously they've all jumped nicely. And Rippling Road is the John Morgan front runner. It's going to make this race even more interesting than it was probably going to be anyway, because you get a mixture of two and a half milers and three milers in this. And they get over the second, and a mistake by Quest to cut. Actually, one over two miles, I think, earlier in the season. They shouldn't have done, but they did. <laughs> it's Rippling Road in the lead from Ocean of Lecker. Fault line, October Bay. Another fence three, they go. Oh, they're all really well strung out, as you can see. As Rippling Road is setting the pace, leading by six to Ocean of Lecker in second, the Fault line third, then October Bay and Quest of Cut is next. There they go. Into fence five. In, all over it nicely. Only half the field in shot, that's how strong out they are. And as Rippling Road comes into this ditch, jump that one a little bit slowly, which will allow the pack to catch up a little bit. Ocean of Lecker second, the fault line third, Quest to cut four, then Lord Carew and October Bay as they take the next. And again, the leader hits it hard, so too, though, did Ocean of Lecker. Now, one or two, which has not been jumping that well today, but we're not seeing many fallers, so. These fences are a bit soft. Into number eight they go. All safely over that. Rippling Road in the lead. This will be the last time we see quite a lot of these. Maybe some will be back next season. Usually the way with these longer distance hurdlers. Quite a few of them make their return. There's a few in here that have been around a season or two, I think. And I'm pretty sure some of them will come back next year. Over number nine we go. I keep saying next year, next season, probably in about three weeks anyway. We've been roads in the lane. Let's hope it's a little bit longer than that. And give us all a bit of a rest as they come into the tent. Rippling road over in the lead. Quest to cut in the fault line now, sharing second. Then Ocean of Lecker and Monty Land. And Lord Carew and Centro and October Bay. And Pot of Cash is next. Ah, oh, the Tangle Sydney. In the pink and black is the one closest to us, widest on the track. As they take the water again, it's 11 of 20 this time. Probably be the last time they take the water. And the Rippling Road in the lead. And only by about three now to Quest to Cut in second. As they take the 12th. Safely over again, she's flying the back marker. Is now in shot. You can see how the field have closed in on the lead a little bit. No more than 20 minutes off the lead now, the back marker. And it's Rippling Road, who continues to be that leader, despite a couple of iffy jumps. Jumped that one nicely enough, though. Over in second was Ocean of Lecker, the fault line is third, then Monty Land and Quest of Cut and El Centro Air. After that, October Bay and Lord Carew. With Pot of Cash and Guard Francais on the inside. Over the 14th they go. After that, Folk Etymology. That one came up pretty quick, didn't it? Almost caught me out as the fault line comes through now to take a share of the lead. So it's the fault line who's now gone on from Rippling Road in second, Quest of Cut is in third, then comes Monty Land, Ocean of Lecker, Lord Carew making eye-catching progress around the outside, as they get over that ditch, oh he's gone there, crashing full for Rippling Road, he made a couple of mistakes earlier on, but he didn't get away with that one, and he's out, and the fault line will lead to the fourth last, 
over the fourth last and the fault line landed in the lead from Ocean of Lecker and Monty Land. Quest to cut is next, then Pot of Cash and October Bay. After that one, Lord Carew and El Centro had the Marnie Steel starting to run on. The rest of them got work to do as they head to the third last. Over the third last they go and it's still the fault line from Monty Land. But they're queuing up behind to take him on. Now look at this Damani Steel swinging round the outside and also cutting through the pack guard for C. And round the outside as well, she's flying, is doing just that. They're into the straight, they've got two to get over. And it's Damani Steel by half a length to the fault line in second. Monty Land is in third. Then comes Guard Force and she's flying closest to us over the second last they go. And Damani Steel's two lengths clear. Damani Steel with Wonder Jump leads from the fault line and Monty Land. Then Ocean of Liquor, Guard Force and Quest to cut over the final fence they go. And it's Damani Steel who's clear by two into the final furlong. Damani Steel from the fault line is starting to pick up now. And the fault line is cutting into the leader's lead. He's hanging on, but he's looking the wrong way. Here comes Fault Line, the Fault Line's taking it up. Now Ocean of Lecker is the challenger. It's the Fault Line who's going to take it. The Fault Line wins it. Ocean of Lecker, the Mine is still put a catch from Monty Land. She's flying near the tonic. El Centro here and all the way back to Arden, the Tangle, Sydney. One or two of those didn't get into that race at all. Folk etymology run an absolute stinker right out the back. But it's the Fault Line that takes it for Joshua Sutherland. Ocean of Lecker, Darren Thompson second. There was also third with the Mine Steel. Fourth was Pot of Cash for Craig Beckwith and Monty Land for John Morgan was fifth.